Okay, so today we're going to be looking over the uh, Jamboard, uh, which is the interactive collaborative whiteboard function, um, but we're going to be utilizing it within a Google Meet. So first and things first, I need to go to my Google Meet uh, using the Google Classroom link that we've created. Uh, once in Google Classroom, uh, sorry, Google Meet, we need to make sure um, we are the host and we have those host controls. And my student has joined. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a Jamboard instance and if I go to the menu at the bottom right hand side I'll be able to see my options and I press on the open a jam uh, which is the interactive collaborative whiteboard. I'm going to choose one that I've already created using the Jamboard app um, in my drive so I can use the maths problem. Now when I open that jam I need to make sure that I'm sharing it with the right people and I'm giving them the right access. Uh, view access is by default and um, you need to change it to edit access if you want them to be able to impact upon that. So that's opened up my jam board just there and then I can uh, re-navigate to this by using the attachment sections within Google Meet or um, your students can also see the link in the chat to the file that has been shared with them. Um, that also goes into your Google Drive automatically as well so any updates any information that the students have put on here will be updated in Google Drive uh, on the file that you're sharing with them so you can see my students now joined and what I want my student to do is I want them to color in the circle so um, while they're doing that I'll just explain um, a couple of things on the Jamboard so what happens is obviously I can have multiple students interacting on the same uh, frame or different frames if I want to. Google have also added the um, the, um, the visibility of who has done what. So there are uh, versions um, where you can see who has written on what item. Uh, I can set backgrounds on this, I can clear the frame, I also have options to download, make a copy, save the frame as an image for evidencing of what students have done and again it's really easy for me to add multiple frames or duplicate those frames so if I wanted to add more groups and group work I can do that within this function as well. So it's a very easy quick tool and it's an interactive whiteboard. Um, hopefully that's been useful. Um, yeah, thank you very much.